We're going to go ahead and take the black belt here, put it around the big pulley part. So remember, you got to put it around the big pulley here. And then it goes around the little pulley of the motor like that. There and there. Okay, so that's our motor and pulley assembled. What that's going to end up being, it's going to end up looking like that in the finished product. Go ahead and wrap that around. Which fits in there. So eventually what's going to happen is oops, that's going to spin this pulley part, which is going to spin your recorder head. Okay, on to the next step. We've secured the clamps, we've completed step 12, and now we're going on to step 13, which means we're going to put on the on-off switch. Now, something I want to point out about the on-off switch, which is going to go right there. There's a nice space for it on one side of the assembly. It's really easy to find where it is. What I found with the on-off switch of the one we already built is that it's a little bit tricky because you'll notice with the on-off switch of the one that I've already built that it's bent. It's bent right here. And the on-off switch, the purpose of it is, is to take this metal bit here, which is has a screw, a screw down there, and a screw behind it, and essentially, when it's on, put this here so it doesn't make a horrible noise. When it's on, it's going to complete this circuit inside. Now the thing is, with the on-off switch of the one I've already built, I have to hold it down. It, notice that, see, it says on here and off there, and that's the way it tells you to do it in the instructions. However, what I imagine is that the off is supposed to be like that, where the plastic is actually keeping the switch, the metal part from connecting to the screw, and on is that it connects. We'll have to see if we can fix that on the, the other one, but that's just something to look out for with your on-off switch, especially if this part gets bent. So go ahead and put that back down. Now, we're ready to assemble our on-off switch. So to the in, according to the instructions, we need to make sure we have our on-off switch. I'm going to put that inside there. And two machine screws. I can dig those out of here. And it also asks for two bolts, so bonus. I just got a bolt with this with my screwdriver here. So I put the bolt in there too. There we go. Now there. Make sure that you're not taking oops. So, when it says machine screws, I'm thinking it means the long, thin screws, because you notice that there are short screws, and then there are long, thin screws. So I'm going to go ahead and find those in here, and see if I can show you the difference between the two. And I'll see what I've used on my previous one. You can see there are 
some long thin screws, and then some shorter fatter screws. Hopefully you can see the difference there. So, got a, no a nut and bolt. Let me just make sure what's... Yes, so for, for the on-off switch, you're going to want to use... They call it a machine screw. They're the long, thin screws. Go ahead and put that in there. One, two, and two bolts. There we go. So we've got two machine screws, two, two long screws. And then it says to make sure you have one pointed screw. So, I'll show you the difference here. And it comes with lots of extra screws, which is nice. I like that. I just wish that they, they were a little clearer, the differences between the two. So if you can see here, there's the pointed screw there and the blunt screw there. So what we want is one of these pointed screws. So make sure for assembling the on-off switch you have one small pointed screw, two long skinny screws, and two nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the battery compartment so you can see them and I can reach them easily while I'm working. I've also got my long metal on-off switch there. Let's put those in here. There we go. And then the plastic on-off switch regulator. So now we're going to go to the outside. So remember on the one we've already assembled you can see that the long metal bar goes on the outside. Now, you're going to have to screw the top screw in first because otherwise you're not going to have you're going to have trouble getting the bottom one. You have the top one in once you've screwed the bottom one. So we're going to head, going to go ahead and screw the top screw in to there. And then on the other side, we'll be putting some nuts. I'll show you one here. So we've got a screw on the outside of the metal bar, a screw on the inside of the metal bar, and then you can see the nuts inside that they're screwed onto. We're going to go ahead and assemble, assemble that part. So I'm going to take my long machine screw one of, and one of my nuts. And go ahead and loosely put that in because you're going to want to put, you're going to put, eventually you're going to put this wire with its metal hook onto it. So you want to just loosely screw it in right now. So we're going to go ahead and bolt this nut to the other side and screw that on a bit. And so I've left a gap. You can see there I've left a gap there because eventually I'm going to put this part into there. So that there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the on off switch. Now don't bend this yet. Don't don't bend this on off switch yet. Make sure that stays straight. Go ahead and put it. You can slot it. You can see that there's a slot to put it in right there. And take the long machine screw. Make sure that the holes line up. And this is where you're going to be tempted to bend it because it's easier to screw the screw in with it bent. So I'm going to go ahead and put that screw in. Same thing. I'm going to put a bolt loosely on the other side. And that loosely on the other side. Again, there's lots of fiddly bits with this. There we go. Put 
Now again, if you can see, I've left some space there because we're going to hook on the wire hooks to there. So, that part is step 15.